Hello everyone and welcome back to the Four Immortal Sisters Challenge and the girlies are back and they are desperate to get out of their um, fussy duds, especially Fia. She was straight to the wardrobe and on with the heels. So this is her sort of new outfit -y -o. And Marissa has also had a wee bit of a change. She's kind of sticking with her signature blue with some nice cute little sandals on turn my speakers down so she's got her kind of cute little sandals that's kind of her signature and aura is glamming it up i love this outfit i think it really suits her sort of funky personality and funky style and tara with her kind of her casual shorts and top gave the kiddies a little bit of a makeover as well super cute and jensen we don't really care about him because it is time for jensen to be eaten by the plant <laughs> Uh, that's my impression of an evil laugh. <laughs> so a lot of you said, Laura, there's a cake, there's a cake. Luckily, the cake is still there. So and Jensen has been here on his own and hasn't accepted the cake. Well, times are about to change. Jensen, my boy, times are about to change. <laughs> and uh, little Audrey is just uh, getting herself uh, kind of fit on the um, play area. And Fia is on tender hooks because she knows that this means one and only thing. And it is time with Mr. Grimmy. Okay, no it doesn't. Okay, I thought that he had been eaten before. Well, that does suck. Does suck? Does suck. Someone else said to me, get another cow plant so it will be a lot quicker. You are absolutely correct. If we got another plant, it would be quicker, but more likely one of them will die. But in seeing what has just happened, I am going to get our Terra to travel. Uh, let's get him in the bath. Let's get him in the shower. I'm going to get Terra to travel and what we can do with her is hopefully travel. Travel, travel, travel. Why could I not think of that? We'll get her to travel and then hopefully we may be able to find another cow plant, which would be good. And then it would take into account, obviously, your suggestions as well. And it has been a few days since she has been fishing and our Terra does miss it. So I think Fia is quite disappointed that Grimmy will not be appearing today, but hopefully... Uh, hopefully we will be able to get him soon because even though she went on holiday to get away from him he was still there in the back of her mind and I just also want to say a huge thank you to you guys as well for your openness of Tara's relationship I know that um, you know some youtubers have had negative feedback when including you know a gay sim in their let's plays which i think is just ridiculous but there has been some that have had this so i was thinking okay how is this going to work but i was fairly confident that you guys would be supportive because i think that it really shows like how good our little community is um over at over at xm sugarland <laughs> over at sugarland i think it does show how sort of diverse we are and how you know you're fully accepting which we all should be in this day and age so i'm glad to see that each and every one of you are of the same mind i've had no negative feedback or if i have had negative feedback then they've just left the channel which to be honest is what i would want anyway so we've got no time for homophobics here no we do not so 189 simoleons we are now making with the books postman pat's bringing in 11 but the gummy bears is up there with 73 okay and we did complete one of our aspirations, so we are now on to the angling ace. So collect 20 types of fish, achieve level 10 in the fishing skill. So I would kind of like that to do it. I'm going to bring Fia here to the park while Terra is actually um, fishing. Look at all this. This is a definite fishing season. Who are you? Avery Burnham. Avery and Burnham. Now we do want to meet some women as well. Let's do a cheerful and look at 
<laughs> um, Granny, I think you forgot your trousers. Oh, Granny, where's your trousers? If you're Scottish, you will get that. If you're not Scottish, you will think that I am a weirdo. But, you know. <laughs> Who's this? Hunk. Paris Caldwell. Well, Paris, I like your muscles. Now, a lot of you said, why is it like Ball Sims wandering about? It's just because I had a couple of custom content hairstyles, which obviously they've had on at one point, and now, well, they don't. So, yeah. That's basically about it. Come and do a flirty introduction with Mr. What's-His-Face. Are you handsome? Are you handsome? You're all right, Paris. You're all right. <laughs> you certainly liked her flirty interaction. Every time I see a cat... Oh, you look angry. What's wrong with your face? Avon, why are you tense, darling? Why are you tense? Has Fia's reputation preceded her? Has it? Why don't you do a funny tell a joke about Sunset Valley? She looks raging. <laughs> she looks at any time that she's going to actually like do her in. Tara, why don't you try fishing with some bait, my darling? Why don't we try that? I don't know if you've you've not got a cow plant seed yet. No, you haven't. So let's try and fish with some lemons and what can we do at home you can uh, build skill get your creativity skill up and you can build skill get your motor skill up you can build your writing build your cooking and you I don't really care what you do go and tend my garden <laughs> I like how you can actually make them do stuff it's pretty good pretty good you need in the toilet She's running. What have we got over here? Noah Kilpatrick. So it definitely looks like the fishermen are out today, guys. And why are you not at school? You little scud bucket. You little scud bucket. Kenny Combs. Are you homeless? Are you homeless? You look homeless because you're dirty. So you can possibly be homeless. But you may not be. I love her new shoes as well. These were from The Sims 3 Resource. I think they're from the Creator Madeline shoes. I'll put a link below. I'll try and remember to put a link below of the actual kind of creator. She is a bit stinking. You're a bit stinky, aren't you? You are a bit stinky. How are we doing in the love and relationships? Will we send a text to Grimmy? Uh, Johnny's dead. Joseph was our possible next one. So let's invite to hang out at current law. Although it didn't work out quite well. It really didn't work out quite well for him at all. Tara, how are you getting on, honey? Just like go fishing with the bait. And as you can see, she did, even though the game crashed, I did go back so that we could spend some time with Howdy. Hi Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> she caught a betta fish worth 12 simoleons. Nice. So Joseph will be right over. Well, what, what are you doing? I need you to fish with bait. Oh, because I only had... Yeah, fish with a lemon. And then you can fish with a bass fish. Why not? Just, just fish with different bait. She's probably like, really? Do I need to do this? An uncommon fish is the beta fish. Well, I would not know. And fish with some grapes. Yeah, so it was a bit of a disaster, the camping trip. I kind of thought that we would, you know, build up a few relationships and get a few baby daddies because she's not preggers. Remember that she is not pregnant yet. So I would kind of hoped that we would get a couple of baby daddies lined up. But Jensen seems to... She's caught a violin. I don't want a violin. Jensen did say he would come over, but I don't see him. Who's sleeping on the... Kenny is sleeping on the park bench. I think poor Kenny's homeless. Let's go and, let's go and speak to poor Kenny. I feel that Kenny possibly is a homeless man. And that's a shame. You should be able to give money to homeless men, I think, in The Sims. That's a cheerful introduction. Since Joseph doesn't seem to be bothered his ass to come and visit us. So let's go and give this dude a friendly introduction. 
introduction. There's more kids. Alexander Goth, what are you actually doing? In fact, do you know what? Let's bring the kids here. Can we bring them here? No, we can't. Okay, can we bring you here? What about if we just care for self? Care for self. Can we bring you here now? No. Why not? Right, okay, pleasant conversation. Things are going quite well. Tell funny story. Tell an engaging story. Brighten day and discuss intro. No, don't kiss hands. Don't kiss hands. Why am I always so keen to just go in for the kill? Get to know. I think Tenna has probably done enough fishing. Cow plant isn't seem to be coming her way. So I'm going to invite... <gasps> Can we not invite Heidi over? What? I'm going to get her to phone Heidi because I'm pretty sure, although Heidi was a holiday romance, she will be quite interested in having some time with her. But it depends. It could end up being a sort of long distance thing. Because we don't know where Heidi is actually from. She might not be from round about here. I haven't seen her, so chances are she's not. So it may just be a holiday romance, guys, which would be really sad. It would be really sad if it just ended up that she was a holiday romance. So send her a wee text. Send her a wee text. Fee has learned that Kenny is good and a glutton. Right, why do you go and... Can we do? Can we bring the kids here yet? No, why not? Right, I think what we should do, chat with LaToya, okay. Go on then, let LaToya come and chat with you. I wish that there was a way to actually... LaToya is flirty. <laughs> dag, dag. I wish there was a way that you could just go in and like create a sim on her so I can do that because I don't really know how to actually... Like, there is no way for me to do that, so I don't really know how that's going to work. So, girls seem to be attracted to Terra for sure, so I think we have picked the right one, because she came over and she was being flirty with her already, so I think we did indeed pick the right one. So let's get um, girly pants over here, so that we can... Maybe we'll use Jensen as a baby daddy, but I just don't... I'm not feeling Jensen. I don't feel as if he would make a good kid, but I also feel as if Fia does need to get pregnant again. So, and I don't even think that they have that sort of... Well, they're good friends. They possibly could do. Right, let's get the girls to go home, I think. Let's do that. Let's... <laughs> She's like, you made me run all the way over here and now I'm back. What the heck? Okay, so... I think we'll get them to go back and I think Fia will need to use Jensen because I quite fancy having another child. I don't know about you guys, but let me know. I think as well, um, we're going to have a full household soon. So it's going to be quite sort of interesting to see how we cope. I'm hoping that soon we get a mod for more than eight sims in the house because I think that would be quite good for us. Because I'm kind of thinking, what about... Oh my god! Stop! Stop! She's here! Heidi is here! Oh my god! Let's give her a suave kiss. Don't you dare go home. She is literally in the park. Oh, so cute! I would love to give her a makeover as well. Like, I would. But I don't even know where she stays. And she's flirty. She's always flirty. She's always down for it. She's always down with the cool kids. Is our Heidi. Tribna. Give her a suave kiss. Oh my god, those two are adorable. Okay. Let's romance. And let's... Uh, why don't we ask on a date? Because they haven't actually been on a proper date. Although they have... Um, you know, had their their moment in the sun, per se. They haven't had an actual date. So let's see if we can go on a date. So we're here. So let's go to Willow Creek. And let's go to... Where could we go? Let's go to this park here. And we'll go here. That would be quite nice, I think. I can't believe she just turned up at the park. And I was like... 
Where are you? So if we can get a gold, oops, I just threw a Kirby right over the room there. If we can find, if we can get a gold date, that would be quite good. I think with this challenge, although it is like a baby challenge, not, not a baby challenge, but a challenge to like have babies and stuff. Well, go to the toilet then because you don't want to be peeing yourself in front of her. There's another lady with no hair, Crystal Kerr. Right, so um, we all know how to do the dates thing, so we're going to hit bumper, we're going to express our admiration, enthuse about her interests, compliment her appearance. I definitely want to change her appearance, but I don't know how to do it. If you know how to do it, if you know how to um, go in, oh my god, I like your jacket, pal, that's quite smart. Did I download that? It kind of looks like custom content, but it's not. Can we not have a group conversation? I don't want to have a group conversation. I would quite like to just have her and him. Her and him. Her and her. If anyone knows how to like go in and change her hair, that would be... Oh, you forgot your pants as well. <laughs> Seriously, like what is it about people like forgetting their pants? Is there somewhere where we could go? There's this dude again. Like, is this the same person? Kenny, are you stalking us? Like, let's go here together. Because we're getting, like, no quiet time in the group chat. Oh my god, like, don't come with us. No. Right, let's kiss her. Oh no, don't, don't go in there. Is this going to be a failed date? <laughs> let's get her to socialise with... Socialise with Jensen. Oh, so I have kisses. Tell her a dramatic story. Blow her a kiss. Heartfelt compliment. And confess her attraction. She already kind of knows her attraction. I wouldn't like to do much makeover wise with her because I think she is cute. Don't talk to, th don't talk to this random. Blow her a kiss. She is your lady love. Kiss the girl. You gotta kiss the girl. We can ask her to be our girlfriend. But, I mean, she has pretty much fallen for her. She really has. So, I don't know. I think possibly. And maybe, let me know below if you want her to be Terra's girlfriend. Let me know below. There'll definitely be no moving in on the house. But let me know if you want her to actually be the girlfriend that would be good just let me know below funny inside joke all right so i'm going to leave them at the park and i'm going to switch control to fia hopefully she's been charming the pants off uh, jensen hopefully and uh, literally <laughs> hopefully and literally and i think we need to get pregnant again I definitely do. I think that that's a need and uh, we shall see. We shall see. So Terra can now tell a knock knock joke. Right, where, where is, where are you? Right, come and do the toilet in here. Come and use this. And Fia, if you want to go here. Certainly don't want to go there with your little one. I'm just going to pause this really quickly. So she needs to play instruments for five hours and draw all types of pictures on the activity table. So we do have an instrument. So get her to practice that. And what about you? Play on a jungle gym while playful. That's not termed as a jungle gym, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure if it is. Have you done your homework? He has. Okay. Why don't you do some extra credit work? Mm. Why don't you do that? You do some... Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, well, it doesn't look like you can do extra credit work, so... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, flush, and then you use. Can you sit on the bed? Sit on the bed and wait Wait, just, she's so, she is so quick. Let's uh, freshen up a little bit. 
Let's freshen up a little bit because we need to uh, make some moves. Let's kiss his hands a little bit. Let us offer him a rose. And let's do, 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 we'll just romance him up. Embrace him. Right, you've freshened up enough. It's time for the charm offensive. It's a shame because you just know that these guys are like, wow, this hot girl. <laughs> This hot girl is interested in me? Really? Yeah, really. I know. It is hard to believe. <laughs> and you think that they don't know what their what their life is going to be? What their life is going to be. And as always, as always, these two are socialising. Um, let's uh, ask the stargaze a little bit and express admiration. Okay, can you woohoo with him yet? No. So we need to kiss, I think, first. First kiss. First kiss and last kiss. <laughs> it is your first kiss, but it will also be your last. Um, can we bring her here? Yeah, bring her here. I think they had a good enough date. I think I would possibly say that. Okay, she's came home. We need to milk. Are you having your first kiss? Do it, do it, do it. Do it, have your first kiss. Do it, do it. So, creativity level six, wonderful. How long have you been playing that instrument now? One hour, wonderful. Okay, can we have a first kiss please? First kiss, first kiss. Cute. Romance. Blow a kiss. Try for a baby with Jensen. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. Right. It's time to knock her up. Come on. So we have got six in a household. The baby would make. Oh, hold on a minute. Three, six. Oh no, we could have eight. I thought to myself, maybe they'll not let her get pregnant again. Because we can only really have four kids as well. So, I guess we will need to see. Right, will we check if she's pregnant? Let's check. Prego, your ego. Let's see. Are you eating for two, my love? Are you? Are you? She'll probably be delighted if she's not. She'll probably be the only sim that throws a party for not being pregnant. Okay. <laughs> I was playing my current household last night. Congratulations, Fia. Congratulations. Um, I was playing my current household last night and I could not get her pregnant. It took like three tries. And I thought this never, ever happens in The Sims, really. So it was really funny how... But then it's kind of weird, right? Because in my current household... Oh, no. Right, I'll just need to let you know in an updated current household video, but um, yeah, it was a really strange situation. It was a really strange situation, but I'll let you know in that video. Right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed this particular video, and I will speak to you in the very next part. Bye, guys.